Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? Fine, thank you, teacher. And you? Very good, very good. It has been an awesome day. I was able to book three, uh, no, four. Is it two? It was three, four, and then one went away, so it's three. I was able to book three uh, appointments. So that's very important. So I can say that it was a very, very good day. What about you? What about you? It's raining. In my house, it's raining. Really? Really? Yes. <laughs> yes. Where do you live? Uh, in La Gloria, Mexicanos. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, I live by La Chulona. Do you know where is La Chulona? Mm -hmm. Yes. I live, I live in La Mira del Valle. Mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty neighborhood. Yes, it's very pretty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it, it has very nice parks, uh, a lot of restaurants. I like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Welcome, Fatima. Welcome, Morena. Welcome, Cesar. Welcome, Sylvia. Welcome, Elvis. How are you? Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. Hey, welcome. Good evening. Very good, very good. Bridget, hello. Brian, welcome. Jonathan, hi. Marvin, welcome back. Laura, hello. Hi, Good evening. Good evening. Betsy, welcome. Jaime Roberto, hello. Oscar Alberto, welcome. I hope that everybody had a very good day. Uh, my day was excellent. I ran five miles. I got three appointments set. So it was a very good day. I would like for you to tell me what do you remember about yesterday's class? What can you tell me or what do you remember about yesterday's class? Yesterday we we finish a lesson number one, two, three, and finish mel mel melters. Is correct? Is how se pronuncia, teacher? Mid exam. Uh, oh, midterm exam. <laughs> midterm exam. Midterm <laughs> exam. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, did everybody finish the midterm exam? Mm -hmm. Did everybody finish the midterm yes. exam? Finish. Yes, it's a finish. Okay. Finish. So right now, everybody has done section one, section two. Section three and the mm -hmm. midterm exam. Okay. All okay. right. 
Sounds good. Sounds good. All right, then. So let us go ahead and move forward. In the previous class, we were looking at uh, the midterm exam. We finished the midterm exam. So today we are going to go ahead and move forward and go to section number four. Now for section number four, what we are going to do is the following. Practice asking and answering questions in English using the present perfect and the simple past tenses. In this lesson, English teacher Joe Sines explains when use simple past versus the present perfect tense depending on the time frame of the action. Practice asking questions in the present perfect using have you ever and describing your past experiences by responding in both the present perfect and simple past. This lesson includes an English oral comprehension exercise. So who can tell me what is the difference between using have you ever and did you, for example, for example, have you ever eaten tacos? Have you ever eaten tacos? And did you eat tacos yesterday? Have you ever eaten tacos? Did you eat tacos yesterday? Who can explain to me what is the difference? In the time. Okay. What? What about the time? Ever is siempre. In yesterday, ayer. Okay, good, good. Aleli, thank you. Otra persona? Somebody else? Será, será el, el tiempo en el que se da la oración. Eh, Emerson, no se le escucha. ¿Y ahora? Yes. Será el tiempo de la oración? Correct, correct. Yes, yes. Somebody else? Somebody else? What is the difference between have you ever eaten tacos and did you eat tacos yesterday? What is the difference? The first is present present. Presente simple. Present perfect. Presente, presente perfect y el otro es pasado simple. That is correct. That is correct. So whenever we are using the present present perfect, we are speaking about general time in the past, right? Cuando estamos usando el presente perfecto, estamos hablando de tiempo general en el pasado. Si yo te digo, ¿alguna vez has comido tacos? Have you ever eaten tacos? Puede ser en cualquier tiempo de tu pasado. But if I say to you, did you eat tacos yesterday? Ahí estoy hablando de un tiempo específico en el pasado. So, el did you es el simple past. Y se usa para specific time. 
in the past. No es lo mismo decir, alguna vez has comido tacos. Have you ever eaten tacos? A decir, did you eat tacos yesterday? Comiste tacos ayer. Mm -hmm. do, you under, do you understand the difference? Yes. yes. At this moment, do you have any questions? At this moment, do you have any questions? No, teacher. Not no, right now. You. Okay, gracias, Laura. Let's continue. We are going to look at the video. Teacher, solo un detalle. Yes. Verdad que tiene un cambio significativo cuando uno le agrega el ever. That's right. El have you ever es como quien dice alguna vez en tu vida. Have you ever. Es como un tiempo más general en la, en la vida de la persona. Okay, gracias, Brian. Let's look at the video and let's go ahead and pay attention. Eh, vamos a poner el video. De ahí me van a hacer preguntas y de ahí vamos a preguntar usando el have you ever. Are you ready? I'm ready, teacher. Okay. Ready. Okay, okay. okay. Tome apuntes, please. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about the kind of food that you've eaten and the restaurants that you've visited. You'll also learn how to express past experiences. For example, you'll be able to ask and answer the following question. Have you ever eaten exotic food? Before I present the structure that we'll learn in this class, I would like for you to listen to an audio program. This audio program illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully as I'll ask you questions about the audio program at the end. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Let me present the structure now. I would like to start by presenting this concept to you. The first thing is that we use the simple past for completed events at a definite time in the past. In other words, things that you did and have completed. And we use the present perfect for events within a time period up to the present time. In other words, events that you started in the past and those have continued to the present and they're not complete yet. Now, what we're going to learn in today's lesson is how the two are related. First of all, I may ask you a question, such as the one that you see on the example. Have you ever eaten snails? And your answer may be, yes, I have. And when you continue to give more information about your answer, you're going to use the simple past. And you're not going to use the present perfect to continue on giving more information because typically what you want to do is you want to express an experience that you had last week about that particular question, right? Such as the example that we see there. Yes, I have. I tried them last month. And I want you to notice the question towards the bottom. It's no longer in the present perfect, but it is now in the simple past. And that's because we're asking questions about our um, past experience. We're no longer asking questions about um, if you've ever eaten snails. Now, the question is related to uh, the example that you see there. I tried them last month. And the next questions will be related to that 
event? And so the answer to that is, yes, I did. And then you give more information, so they were delicious. And so we do the same thing uh, towards the left, towards, towards the right side of the example of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? We start off the question using the present perfect, and then you continue on and, and you give either a positive or a negative answer. And then in this case, it happens to be a negative answer. No, I haven't. Um, and then you might give more information, but I ate at a Thai restaurant last night, right? Um, and then the next questions that are followed here are in the simple past. Did you go alone? No, I went with some friends. Now that we understand the concept on how this topic is used, what I would like to do now is I would like to explain how to form questions using the present perfect. And, um, and so let me do that at this time. First of all, uh, we should learn the following concept that we're going to use have. Have it's an auxiliary verb. And we're going to use have whenever I talk about the pronouns I, you, we, and they. And then I will use has whenever I talk about the pronouns he, she, or it, or in other words, the third person, right? Um, and um, so having said this, what I would like to do now is I would like to present the structure on how to form those questions. Let me do that at this time. In order for us to form the questions, the first thing that we should include is an auxiliary have or has, as I mentioned, if we follow this rule, we learned that we're either going to use have if I talk about I, you, we, or they, and we use has whenever we talk about the third person. So in this case, um, we're going to use have, um, and then this follows the subject then this follows the word ever, and then the verb in its past participle form, and then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever eaten snails? And by the way, um, this word here is a frequency adverb, so sometimes you can remove it, um, and um, the question will still be correct. But in this case, we want to use it. Have you ever eaten snails? Um, and what I mentioned was that you can either answer this question with a positive response, such as yes, I have, or this could be a negative response, such as, no, I haven't. And so just so that we can see clearly what's happening, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with the colors at this time. All right, there we go. So have you ever eaten snails? And it's the same thing um, for our next question. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? So let's do that one as well. So I'm going to use have. This follows the subject. And then we're using the word ever. So we use the verb to be in this case in the past participle form. And then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? And then once again, the answer to that particular question can be yes, I have or no, I haven't. And what I would like for you to notice now is how we respond to that kind of question, right? I mentioned that we can either have a positive response to that question, either yes, I have, or no, I haven't. And then this next sentence, we're typically going to follow with a simple past statement. And the reason is because um, I'm going to talk about my experience in the past. So in this case, I'm going to say I tried them last month. So this statement here basically talks about that past experience that I had, which is related to this topic, right? So have you ever eaten snails? And my, my answer to that question is, yes, I have. I tried them last month. So I, I'm using the simple past. And um, now, the next questions that you see there, which is what I mentioned earlier, are in the simple past. Did you like them? Now, all the questions are related to this event that you see here, right? It's no longer this question that you're answering. You're answering the next question. I tried them last month. So you want more information about this event from last month. Did you like them? And as you can see, the answer, yes, I did. They were delicious. 
And we can see the same example towards the right side of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? Well, the answer to that question is no, I haven't. But I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. The next question that is asked here has to do with this answer. I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. Oh, did you go alone? Um, this question refers to the person going to that Thai restaurant last night. And he answers, no, I went with some friends. So as you can see, we use a combination of both the present perfect and the simple past to talk about things that you either started in the past, continue the present, and then when you want to go into talking about a past experience, that's when we use the simple past. So let's see if we can do a couple of more questions. Um, have you ever tried sushi? How would you respond to that question? Well, typically most people have, so most people will say, yes, I have. And so tell me about that experience. Okay? So if you're going to tell me about that experience, then that's when we're, whenever we're going to use the um, simple past. So how would you tell me about that past experience? Well, have you ever tried sushi? Yes, I have. I um, ate sushi last month. Oh, sorry. I ate sushi last month. Oh, really? And then whenever you start talking about that past experience, the next questions that will follow will be in the simple past. Did you like did you like it? Now, how would you respond to that? Well, you can you can respond to that by answering yes, I did, or no, I didn't. I thought it was great, or I didn't like it. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to answer the following questions. Have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Have you ever visited Europe? All right, guys, I would like for everybody, we're going to practice the questions. Listen and repeat, please. Have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Okay. Alguien me pregunta a mí la pregunta. <laughs> Excuse me. Teacher. <laughs> Hi. Have, you, teacher, have, have you, you ever been to the beach? Yes, I have. So, yo vengo y le respondo. Yes, I have. have. Short answer. Short answer. Yeah, de ella me pregunta, ¿cuál playa? What beach? Vengo yo y le digo, eh, Surf City, el Tunco. Surf City. Y ahí me pregunta, ¿cuándo fuiste? When did you go? ¿Cuándo fuiste? Y ahí dice, yo fui en las vacaciones agustinas. Ahí sería simple past. I went on the August vacation. Cuando fuiste, uh, y qué comiste? What did you eat? Y ahí le digo, comí panes con pollo. <laughs> I ate chicken. En la playa. <laughs> I <laughs> sí, ate no maricada, maricada. <laughs> es que es un picnic. Es no voy a decir que voy, fui a comer frijoles ah, también. Sándwich. Por eso, pero es que es un picnic. O sea, no voy sandwich. a ir a cocinar. Un a comer a la playa. Una <risa> Tamales. <risa> <risa> ok. 
Uh, vamos a decir carne asada. I ate barbecue meat. Porque sí he hecho, digamos, parrillada en frente al mar. Y yo cociné. What did you eat? I ate barbecue meat. Okay. Who did you go with? ¿Con quién fuiste? I went with my father and brother. ¿Qué vestiste? What did you wear? ¿Qué vestiste? I wore a cap. Vestí una gorra. A tank top. Un centro. Shorts. Shorts. And Sandal. Did you have a good time? La pasaste bien? Did you have a good time? Hey, yes, I did. ¿Qué hiciste? What did you do? Y le voy a ponerme broncier para agarrar color. Ay. <laughs> I got yes, a yes, uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Hey, teacher, Le creo que yo me queme, <laughs> pero usted. <laughs> 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 me fui, me fui a broncear. Right. Eso, no, okay. eso no fue bronceado, es horneado. Se pasó. I'm sorry, okay. teacher. Vale, me bronceé y nadé en el mar. I got a tan and swam. Era solo cinco minutos y tiró todo el día en el sol. In the beach, <laughs> en Cancún. Ok, so así, así es como la, la pregunta fuera, right? Empezó con algo tan simple y sencillo como alguna vez has tu, tenido un picnic en la playa y de allí hicimos una conversación completa. El, el present perfect eh, es muy bueno como cuando quieres romper el hielo Digamos que estás en una fiesta, estás en algún evento de trabajo, estás en un, you know, en un, en un evento social. Eh, tú puedes quebrar el hielo con este tipo de preguntas. Eh, algunas veces, eh, have you ever participated in the company party? Right? ¿Alguna vez has participado en la fiesta de la compañía? Eh, y de allí tú desarrollas la conversación completa. Ahí se los mandé en el WhatsApp y se los mandé también en el chat del Zoom. Eh, vamos a practicar estas preguntas. Have you ever been to a picnic? Uh, have you ever eaten Mexican food? Have you ever visited? Vamos a tomar pantalla. De pantalla. Okay. This is going to be a speaking activity. It's going to be a speaking activity. Les llegó al grupo? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Y les voy a compartir otras más que yo he preparado para esta actividad. Les vamos a habilitar el derecho de compartir sus pantallas. Ok. So, we are going to... Oh, wow, we have a new student. Is that a new student? Karen. 
<risa> no. No, es una nueva historia. The hires. Oh, it's a new look. Oh, qué humo. Oh my God. Oh. No. No me peiné hoy. Nice, nice. Hizo rubia. Okay, let's practice. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Hey, queremos comisiones, teacher. Eh? Hey, buena, buena, hey, ahora me salieron tres eh, citas para, para ver. Mañana van a ir, ir a ver una, el lunes van a ver otra y el martes van a ver otra. ¿Y qué pasó Ay. con el business de medio millón? Man, yo solo una quiero que se me cierre. Con una me conformo. Ok. Está bien. Ok. Después yeah. las comisiones. ¿eh? Una diaria, ¿verdad? <risa> Una diaria fuera bueno. Eh, Laura, usted está en el grupo de, usted está con César. Number one. Number, number one is, uh, have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Ajá, pero es que Bessie no las tiene. Ah, sí, sí. Ajá, ¿cómo hacemos para poner? Ajá, eh, es que yo sí, las compartí la en el que... WhatsApp y las compartí en el chat. Sí, sí. pero me voy a abrirlo Entonces, porque estoy desde el teléfono. Bessie está en el phone. Está en el chat del Zoom. Uh -huh. Está en el chat del Zoom, no solamente en el chat del WhatsApp. Aquí si quieren les pregunto, que cuando, hacen los, cuando hacen los grupos, ajá, ya no, ya no me aparece. Ah, ok, ah, pues ahorita lo vamos a reenviar. O si quieren, le voy preguntando yo y ustedes van respondiendo. Ok, espérenme, espérenme, ahorita les voy a. Okay. Vamos a ver, chat, chat. Chat, ¿dónde está? Ay, siempre me pasa lo mismo. One participant, multiple event sharing, text message, show chat reviews, chat. Eh, vamos a ver, breakout rooms, aquí está. Ok, broadcast, just all messages. Ok, ahí está. Aquí está. ¿Les llegó? Yes. Sí. Okay. Gracias. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Thank you, teacher. Yes. I begin. Yes. Okay. I ask the question. You ask the question. It's okay. Uh, oh, okay. Bridget. Hi, okay. Bridget. Hi, teacher. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I, 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 have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Yes, I have. Okay. Uh, what beach? Surf City. Ahí si quieren va respondiendo una así alternado para participar todos. Ok. Ok, bye. When did you go? 
I went on the ago vacation. Okay. And what did you eat? I had barbecue meat. Hmm? Uh, who who did you go with? Morenita, conteste. No, oh, Fátima. Fátima tiene apagado el micrófono. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I, went, I went with my mother and my father. Okay. Uh, what did you wear? I wore a cap, a tank top, shorts, and sandals. Okay. Did you have a good time? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. uh, what did you do? I got a tan and swung in the beach. Okay. The second question, Seria. Um, this aquí. Have you ever appreciate a sunset? Esas son de las preguntas que me han dado el teacher. Sí. Yes. Sí, son sí. Las... Que yo no las puedo ver. Dice. Yes, I have. Mm, yes, I have. Eh, were you alone or with someone special? With my husband. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, and have you ever been a guest at a surprise party? Yes, in my birthday. Okay. Mm -hmm. When was your birthday? <laughs> April 6 is my birthday. Okay. <laughs> eh, luego dice, dice, have you ever been in a fist, a fist fight? <laughs> Teacher sería fierce or fist. Fist. I don't know. Cambiamos. Eh, sí, porque no, fish fight? no entiendo la pregunta. Uh -huh. ah. What the fish fight? Ajá, eso, porque no sé si se equivocó. First fight, porque fight es pelea, ¿verdad? I don't know. Ajá. Bueno, pasemos la siguiente. Dice: Have you ever been on TV? No. I don't. Sería. No hay. No hay. I haven't, ¿verdad? Ajá, no hay haven. Ajá, no hay haven. Y quiero ver qué más. Have you ever been to a theater? Yes, I like it. Theater. A theater es teatro. teatro. Uh -huh. I like it. Ok. Uh, have you ever have you ever broken up with someone? Mm. Mm. What the meaning? No, I have. I have uh, I think the broken up is como cortado eh, quizás con alguien ajá, quebrar, ajá, ajá, es quebrar. Ajá. that's right that's right ajá. that's right que le dijo ya no te quiero tengo a otra bye bye, <risa> bye, next, bye. next next okay. next <risa> se convierte en la ex que vaya al gym <risa> ajá Fátima, have you ever broken up with someone? No, I haven't. Yo a cada rato break up with someone. Okay. <laughs> you or she? Me, me aburro fácil, me aburro rápido. Yeah. Um, 
Ay, no. Sorry, sorry. Aunque quiera, He's no a puedo. bad boy. I'm a bad boy. Mr. Santos <laughs> is a bad boy. Okay. This, um, have you ever called your boyfriend or girlfriend by the wrong name? Ah, teacher, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> maybe, maybe when I'm still dormido. In yours? <laughs> well, no, no. No? <laughs> okay. Uh, this is. Have you ever changed your appearance a lot, a lot in a short time? For example, high style, high color, or weight? Yeah, I have. <laughs> yes, I have in my hair style. Okay, Betsy, ahí style. vamos a decir yes. 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 Okay. Ajá. Porque si no se escucha yes, como yes. que dice, yeah, I have. Y uh -huh. no es correcto. Es yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Okay, y si and... quiero completar y si quiero completar la respuesta y decir sí en mi cabello ah puede decir yes I have I changed my hairstyle ah okay yes I have I changed I changed my my hairstyle my yes hair I have I changed my hair that's hair right. style. Hair style. Hair style. Hair style. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank okay. you. Yes. Um, have you ever cheated on an exam? Así es, teacher, cheated. Cheated. Hacer trampa en un examen. That's right. Uh -huh. Have you ever cheated on an exam? No, I have <laughs> Yes, I No. Yo pondría ahí no, I have. Uh, no, I have been. No, I haven't. No, I haven't been. Uh -huh. Como no está. Vamos a ver la siguiente. Déjame la busco. Mejor corro. Sí. Mejor no. Mejor no. No hay haven. ¿Has aparecido alguna vez en televisión? No. Have you ever... Es que no sé. Have you ever been on TV? On television. Mm, yes, I have. <laughs> oh. I, I like your style. <laughs> Yo no. Usted no. No. Yes, I have been. Sería bueno en mi caso. Only Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Vamos a ver la siguiente. Espérame, estoy buscándola para verla. Have you ever dice been to a tier? ¿Has estado alguna vez en un teatro? No, yo no, yo no he estado en ningún teatro. I have never been. Bueno, yo no, nunca he estado en, en un teatro. 
Bueno, sí, eh, pero no, no soy yo la... Vamos a ver. ¿Usted sí ha ido a algún teatro? Sí, pero no he participado yo, sino que solo... Solo ha, ha visto. Uh -huh. La siguiente... How you ever broken? ¿Alguna vez te ha roto un hueso? No. No, I haven't. No, I have. Bueno, no, I have, no, I have. Have you ever broke up with someone? Es esa la que leo, la de los huesos. Ajá, pero la siguiente. No, 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 esa se está refiriendo a broken up with someone, es que has quebrado con alguien, o sea, que le dijiste es... Sorry, ya tengo a otra. Next. Ah, Next. Ah, bueno. Pierde tu Me... no. Next. <risa> Siguiente. Cada rato quiero con alguien. Next. Next. <risa> ah, bueno. Y usted, bueno, yo quizás sí. Eh, no, yo no. Nunca. Never. No le creo. ¿eh? Sí, vamos y esa y tú sería. Bueno. Yo pensé que se refería como a hueso. No, hueso ahí sería, de... ahí sería yes I have. Yes, I eh, have. De, de, de hueso sí es el de el de arriba, ¿verdad, teacher? Have you ever broken a bone? Ajá, ese sí, ese sí. Yes, I have. Many. <risa> Aburrido estoy de quebrar corazones. <risa> Ay, puya, profe. <risa> ya, ya llegué al punto que ya dije, si ya me voy a quedar solo, mejor porque me conviene más. No le conviene andar así. De... <risa> no, me conviene porque siempre me pasa lo mismo, me aburro. Se aburre. Me aburro. Puchita. Que no hablan inglés, por eso. Exacto, eso es lo mismo. Maybe. Maybe. It can be, it can be. No, vamos a ver la siguiente. Quiero ver. Pero las rubias sí me llaman la atención. Eh, la next, ¿cuál es? Eh, ¿dónde? Rubias chelitas, dice. Las chelitas y las rubias. Uh -huh. Está bien. Gringas, entonces. <risa> Americanas le gusta. <risa> Por eso se ha aburrido, porque es del Salvador. Eh, eh. Ah, bueno. Eh, en el Sonte sí, en el Tunco hay bastantes. Sí. Pero no se bañan. ¿Quién dice? <risa> no conocen el champú. No. No, no, se... no, 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 no el agua salada. <risa> Puede ser. Irma, hello, Irma, how are you? Ajá, un gran problema. <risa> me, me salí, después no podía entrar y ya. Vamos a ver la siguiente, dice. Hola, Irma. Hola, hola. Ando hola. perdida porque, porque me sacó y hasta ahorita puedo entrar otra vez. Estoy practicando unas preguntas y tratando de responderlas. Ok. Hago que llueve. Hola. 
es también difícil estas palabras. Uh, how do you have your boyfriend or girlfriend by, no. by the wrong name? Si yo nunca he tenido novio, ¿o qué, ¿O qué dice? <risa> que si alguna vez has llamado a tu novio, cariño, ah, creo. O oh, no sé. Ah, ok. Ajá, ajá. Ah. Que tu novio se llame Juan y vos le decís Joe. Cariño. No. Se llama Juan, pero vos le decís José. Por eso, ah. por eso se dice cariño. Se llama Juan, pero le dicen Pedro. Se queda sin esposo y se le dice Pedro. Mejor más no. general, baby. Así no baby. se confunde. Toda baby one, baby two, baby three. ¿Va? ¡Oh, no! Para que no se confunda. Baby 1, baby 2, baby 3, dice. <risa> Little baby, a lo mucho. <risa> Para no amor, confundirse. Amor, 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 amor. Usted, se diga, yes, I have, ¿verdad? No, yo no. <risa> Nunca. No, nunca. No le creo, mire. No sé. Next. Uy, que iba a escribirlo aquí, mire, en el, en el grupo. Ay, ay. No sé qué quiere bueno. decir esa palabra, ni idea. Quiero ver cuál. ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál? Teacher, y estas preguntas. Have you ever changed your. ¿Cómo que si ya ha cambiado? Creo que apparent. Recording. Oh, teacher. Aleli. Muy largo el, la, el cuestionario. Y oh, me tocó okay. con una. Me tocó con alguien que ni encendió la cámara ni el micrófono, así que se falla la chingada. Really? Oh my yes. God, that's terrible. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's terrible. All right, let me have Aleli ask Laura. Ah. Laura, respond. The first question? Yes. Okay. Okay, Laura. Have you ever appreciated a sunset? <laughs> yes, I have. Okay. Okay. Vaya, digamos que ella dijo, yes, I have. ¿Qué sería otra pregunta que le podríamos hacer? Si ella dijo, yes, I have. ¿Te gustó? ¿You I like it? Ah, did you like it? Mm -hmm. Did did you like it? Did you like it? Sería la pregunta did you did you did you? Esta sería como me la hace. Ajá, te gustó? Did, did you like did it? You like it? Yes, I like. No, ahí sería yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, yes I, I did. did. Sí, me, sí, me gustó. Ajá, yes, I did. Sí. Ajá. Yes, yes, yes I, I did. did. O se puede, se puede responder, yes, it's a beautiful. Ah, yes. Oh, yes o también it, se puede responder, yes, it was a really cute. Ajá, uh -huh, it was really nice. It was beautiful. Yeah, sí se puede. Sí se okay. puede. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see, César en Morena. Second question, Cesar. Second. Second, yes. all right. Were you alone or with someone special? Morena, micrófono. Yo creo que es una pregunta. Okay. Yes, I went my husband. I was. I was, yes, I, was I was with my husband. my husband. I was with my husband. 
Yes, I want my wife. No, yes, I was my husband. It's no, correct, teacher. No, I was with. Oh. I was with, with my I husband. Was with and my husband. Uh huh. All right. Okay. In your house. With my. In your house or or park parking. Husband. Mm. O sea, no, ahí ustedes, sería, no, no, ahí sería a, a, ¿Qué le está preguntando? ¿A dónde estaba? Eh, o sea, sí. Ah, where where were you? The, the, where were you? Where, where were you? Where were you? In my house. All right. Very good. Uh -huh. Okay. Morena, select somebody. Um, Karen. Karen. <laughs> Have uh, you ever been a guest at our surprise party? Uh, yes, I have. Uh, when my friends celebrate my birthday. Ah, uh, what is your birthday? Uh, April 7th. Me, April 6th. <laughs> Me, April 5th. <laughs> Damn. Five, six, seven. <laughs> Hay otro que cumple el mismo mes. Yeah, yeah. O la misma semana, man. <laughs> Un solo pastel. Aries. Yes. A ver, ¿qué signos son? Aries. Aries. <laughs> My son, birthday 21, April. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, April. All right, Karen, select somebody. Uh, Betsy. Betsy, Betsy. Okay. <laughs> Has anyone ever shown a surprise party for you? Creo que yo hago la pregunta, ¿verdad, Tisha? Yes. Ah, ok. Betsy, has anyone ever thrown a surprise party for you? Yes, my partners. My partners, eh, digamos, compañeros de trabajo, o who? Yes, yes. Your classmates. Eh, de, de trabajo. Okay, okay. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice compañeros de trabajo? Co-workers. Co-workers. No. Co-workers. ¿Cómo se dice? Co. 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 Workers. Workers. Co-workers. De okay. trabajadores. Co-workers. 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 Ok. Eh, yeah. select, select somebody else. Mm. Seleccione alguien más. Sí, sí. Fátima. Yo le pregunto, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. Have you ever been in a fist fight? Eh, no, no. ¿Sabe qué es fist fight? Yes. Es como una pelea, ¿no? Pelea, pelea de golpes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ok. ¿Cuál es la respuesta? No, I haven't. Ok, good. All right, select somebody else.
So like somebody else? Silvia uh, Mendes. Okay. Silvia Mendes. Hello. Okay, <coughs> pregunta de que en el WhatsApp no las tengo ahorita. No sé si le puedo hacer una de las que eh, mostró al inicio. Yes. Okay. Um, have you ever visit um, Europa? Have you ever visit or have you ever visited? Visited. Uh -huh. Visit it. Have you ever visited Europa? Europa or Europe? Europe. 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 No, I haven't. Okay. Okay, guys, um, we're going to stop right here. I know that this is a, a difficult topic. Eh, básicamente, esta es una herramienta de lenguaje que es muy útil para romper el hielo. Eh, usted está en un lugar, en una fiesta, en un evento social, está aburrido, nadie le está hablando. Usted le dice a la persona, hey, hi, hi, what's your name? Michael, and yours? Ruben, cool. Have you ever been to the, the party before? No, it's my first time. Oh, do you like it? Oh, it's nice. Right? Y eso abre la oportunidad que tú puedas desarrollar una conversación con alguien. Mm -hmm. Es como un rompe hielo. Rompe corazones. All right, guys. Bye. See you tomorrow. Ah, oh, goodbye. Good night. Goodbye. Y mañana va a haber clase o hasta el lunes. Yeah. Tomorrow. Mañana si hay clases. Mañana si hay clases. Mañana si hay clases. The reposition for the class. Mañana tenía karaoke. Oh, te, tengamos karaoke en la clase. Oh my God. Turn around. <laughs> Every night, every night, and night and never. Good night. Good night. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Oh, oh. Hey, See you tomorrow. To the moment of tomorrow with the wind. Alele. Oh, lady yeah. in red. Dance. See you tomorrow, in Lily. Bye bye. <clears throat> Ahora ya saben por qué no, no soy cantante, ¿verdad? Close your eyes. <laughs> Eso, Lely, dele. La da da di da da da. Eternal plans. La da da di da 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 da. La da da di da 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 da. All right, see you tomorrow, guys. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.